<sighs> I don't understand. Why is this happening? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Catalina, please! Say this is all a mistake! No. Hand the girl over to me. Catalina! Why would you go back to the Empire after all this time? Yeah, come on! We promised to reach the end of the sky together! What happened? If you won't cooperate, then raise your sword, Graham. You're not yourself. Something must have happened to you. Nothing that concerns you. Especially seeing as you continue to defy me. But we've been traveling together for all this time. I don't understand. Yeah, the whole reason you left the Empire was to protect Lyria. I don't buy that you suddenly decided to go back to the Empire. Enough chatter. If neither party will cede, the matter must be settled with steel. Ares, let your strength inhabit my sword! You can't be serious! I don't plan to hold back, Gran. Perhaps you'll find my sword more persuasive than my tongue. Now, draw your blade! in Albion, she was asking for help. Can you ask Ares what's going on? I'll try. Huh? What do you think you're doing? An unknown power is trying to swallow up the Skydom, a power neither of the stars nor of the sky? Huh? The heck does that mean? A strange power trying to swallow the Skydom. Sierra said there were weird things happening all over Fantagrande. Catalina's memory loss must be related somehow. Can you tell us what caused all of this? What? Someone wanted this to happen? Who? Huh? Ares? What is that thing? Where did it come from? What's going on? Her voice. It's fading! Oh no, she's losing control! <laughs> Lieutenant Catalina! 
Harry's, what are you doing? Have you gone mad? Stand down! Well, I don't like the looks of this. Graham, you ready? I better be. Catalina, can I count you in? Very well. A truth for the time being. What's range going on? Primal beasts don't just rampage for no reason. I have a feeling all this craziness is connected. But first things first, we have to get Ares under control. about well I'm so sorry I can't believe I put you all through that it's okay the important thing is we have you back I'm glad you got your memories back Catalina but you look pretty rough are you gonna make it no cause for alarm at least for the moment more importantly <laughs> It looks like Ares is back to normal, too. Just what happened to us? Just a hunch. But I think that black, crystalline monster must have something to do with it all. It seemed like it deliberately interrupted Lyria when she tried to ask Ares for information. What was Ares trying to tell us? She said that someone was trying to use a strange power to swallow up this Skydom, but she didn't know who. Must be some shady customer if they sick that crystal on us. That's an understatement. Whoever it is can alter people's memories and send primals into a rampage at will. Sierra did say there have been unusual incidents all over the sky, though. Are you okay? Oh, speak of the devil. Why, Catalina? You look like your old self again. Thanks to Gran and the others. Hmm. So they lost their leader. 
maybe that's why. Why what? Well, the Imperial troops who invaded Amalthea have begun to withdraw. It sounds like they're all heading toward the Vault's duchy now. Vaults? We'd better follow them. Archduke Sokka might be in trouble. The thing is, Mars isn't the only island with problems. There are more islands under attack? Or is it something else? Well, you see, I heard there was unrest in Auguste. But it's a little hard for me to explain. How so? Well, I don't really have enough information yet. All I know is, something very suspicious is going on. So Vaults and Auguste are both in a jam. Eo is from Vaults. And Oigen is in a huge day right now. Let's find Rackham and Eo and get back to the Grand Cipher. Then we can figure out our next move. Right. Let's go. I'll follow your lead, Bran. We've got a lot of questions and no answers, so we better get sleuthing. go <laughs> this is rich repairing the warped laws of causality eh only a singularity would have a chance hmm things are about to get interesting uh, I think I feel my motivation rising time I joined the fun don't you think Bubs I'm so glad you survived. The clash of two singularities. This should be a climax to end all climaxes. Colossus, does it look different to anyone else? Yep, someone woke up on the wrong side of the forge. Use dark essence to amplify Colossus's power. Its whole body has been warped. What do those bozos think they're doing? Do they really want to make Colossus go berserk? We can't let that happen. We've got to stop them. Lyria, is there anything you can do? I'll try talking to it. I might be able to get through like I did with Ares. Blue light. The light is coming from that giant, and I have a sneaking suspicion the Empire has something to do with it. Even with Colossus on their side. Our alliance has been able to maintain a stalemate, but perhaps they're about to play their race in the hole. Hey! Something's going blue over there, too! That girl... Charlotta, can you handle things here? I have to go deal with her. You can count on me! Colossus, please! No? Are you getting through? It's no good. The dark essence is getting in the way. Maybe if I could get a little closer... Freeze! All of you! What? That girl is the Empire's top secret research project, isn't she? I've heard she has the power to control primal beasts. Now I see what the Empire wants with Colossus. Using the girl's powers, you plan to weaponize this primal. Well, I won't stand back and let that happen. Wait, you're mistaken. We do not serve the Empire. Catalina, wait. There's something off about him. Look! Behind him! If you won't stand down, then there's only one way to settle this. I guess we don't have a choice. I am Lancelot, Captain of the Order of the White Dragons. On guard! Here. You 
won't reach Colossus on my watch. Leave this to me. Be careful, okay? I believe I would take arms against your crew, especially you, Lyria. Don't be too hard on yourself. The same thing happened to me. Something is rotten in Fantagrande. This is all a bit hard to believe. How could this happen? Actually, we think it's less a question of what, and more of who. This all feels like part of a plan. Speaking of plans, Lancelot, what brought you here anyway? My order learned that the Empire was up to its old tricks, amassing troops and using Dark Essence to manipulate primal beasts. Their resurgence was and still is a mystery, but it was too great a threat to it. I suppose they have been rapidly seizing territory with extreme tactics. But if the kingdom is far from the conflict as Feyendrak felt threatened, the situation may be worse than I feared. Yes. Things were looking grim. Vaults had already fallen to the Empire. I reached out to the Lumiel Order to form an alliance, and we came here hoping to lend the Duchy our aid. So then, is Master Sokka all right? I assume so. They blockaded the capital in order to seize Colossus, but I don't think they've done any actual damage to the city itself. Dark Essence has twisted Colossus's form, augmenting its power. We should. Hmm? Skyrats! Mass them up! We'll continue this later. Charlotta, of course. You must be here as Lumiel's representative in the Alliance. The blue-haired girl is the one with the power to manipulate primal beasts, isn't she? So she's the Empire's ace in the hole. Look, wait a minute! Charlotta, wait! They aren't our enemies! What? Don't tell me Fiendrak has been plotting with the Empire against Lumiel from the beginning. No. Fiendrak is no friend to the Empire. Please, let me explain. I expected better of you, Lancelot. I don't want to hear any more lies! I am Charlotta Fenya, captain of the Lumia Order of Holy Knights! On guard!
fight is inevitable. I'll try to avoid your fight. Come to her senses. It seems someone manipulated both Charlotta's memories and mine. Someone? You mean the Empire isn't behind this? I'm not sure. But we know one thing for certain. The Empire's trying to use Colossus to menace the Skydom. That's why we formed our alliance. Siri, are we close enough now? Can you try again? Okay. Nearly there. Still no good. This dark essence scrambling everything. Fine then. We'll just have to slap some sense into that big tin can. You calling out the big guns already? I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do. Don't worry. We beat Colossus before when Master was controlling it. So you plan to wear it down until you can find an opening? Let us help you. Now that those Imperial soldiers have been taken care of, this is our chance! Yeah! Time to show them what we're made of! Right!
Quest clear. Yeah. That was easy. Empire's aggressions had already reached your kingdom before we contacted you. Something about that bothers me. Why is that? The Erste Empire was dissolved after its Prime Minister's destructive ambitions got out of control. As a political entity, it no longer exists. A sudden resurgence makes no sense. Especially considering the numbers and resources it takes to conquer not only vaults, but multiple territories throughout the Skydom. So just where did all those soldiers come from? Ensure the residents are safe and take care of any damage caused by the invasion. Lumiel will provide as much support as Vaults needs. That's a relief. It sounds like Vaults is in safe hands then. Might be a good time to see how some other islands are doing. You can't just stand by if they're in the same situation. You're absolutely right. The Empire is clearly after Lyria again, as I experienced firsthand. And it ain't just Imperials that want a piece of us. What's up with that? what you've done to everyone's vacations. I don't want to do this, but you've left me with no choice. Prepare yourself! I'd rather not fight if you force my hand. Nerve to mess with the best? 
Save us from a summer of suck! Bring the pain on those dudes wrecking our beautiful fake hay! Help us, Shiva! Help us, Bahamut! Help us, Iggy! Whoa, my eyes! Duh. Iggy heard our prayers! Hold the applause, bro. Something ain't right. Yeah, she mad. No doubt about it. Jeez, that stings. What the heck is going on? you all doing here? Uh, sounds like Miss Shameless is back to her old self. Say what now? It seems the two of us, and everyone else in Aguste, have been acting a little strange. Like losing very specific memories, or having them twisted into something else entirely. Some kind of mass hallucination? Well, Aguste isn't the only place that's been affected. Similar phenomena have been reported on other islands. My memories were altered, too. I went as far as using Empire soldiers in an attempt to kidnap Lyria. You're kidding! There's no doubt about it, then. Something is totally messing with the skies right now. Lyria Grant and I still have all our marbles. At least so far. 
What's weird is that meeting up with Gran seems to have cured everybody. Speaking of, you seem lucid, Eugen. There must be some kind of logic to who's been affected, but damned if I can figure it out. Hmm, quite the conundrum, isn't it? If Ares was right, then someone's causing this deliberately. What could they be after? <sighs> oh. Jeez, I'm beat. I don't know if it's because of getting my memories wiped or what, but I've got a pounding headache and I could use them. What's going on? It's Idrisil! And she seems furious! How did she get here? I didn't summon her! everyone. Let's do this!
something. Okay. It's just as we suspected. Those crystalline monsters do seem to be causing this. So they were the ones who affected us as well. Petrizel seems awfully tired out. It's all right. You can rest now. I'm so sorry, Iggy. Wait. You know something about all this? It's like... All our fantasies have been coming alive on their own. Like some kind of dream. Or a miracle? It's some kind of dreamy miracle. So you three dips caused all this? Just what the hell were you doing? Ouch! Wait. I remember. I remember! My best girl's name. It's Catalina! She's my one and only. Memories like that don't just fade, man. How could I ever forget? So you're the one responsible for those mechanical imposters? The Wayne? Time to fall on your sword, bro. I'll join you. Nothing else will make up for putting Iggy through hell. <sighs> Put a sock in it. Well, I'm glad everyone's back to normal. Yes. But now we've moved on from memory alteration to fantasies taking physical form. It's like someone's rewriting the rules of the universe. That's kind of scary. Yeah, we can't take this lightly. I think you better check out some other islands. I'll stay here in a goose day. No telling what might happen, so I don't feel good leaving. All right. Everyone else, hop aboard the Grand Cipher. We need to see how the other islands are doing. The rules of the universe are being rewritten, eh? <laughs> I like the sound of that. There's all sorts of fun stuff going on out here, bubs. I can't wait for you to come join in. Oh, come on. Show me a smile. Thanks to you, my dream may just come true. I know we've had our differences, but I'd say working together was in your best interest. It isn't your dream, though, is it? I tire of your buffoonery, clown. Easy, big guy. I'm not trying to rush you into anything. Just be patient a little longer. I'm sure I can make it worth your while. land well 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 not a hot spring but not bad either not bad at all a man could dream a dream or two about this vista huh hold on what do you got there binoculars of course how else can i worship every last detail of these goddesses at play blasphemy natural beauty is meant to be viewed with a naked eye Shh, keep it down Ned over there who looks like Lieutenant Catalina. Ah, uh, love, fashion, when will it be my turn? Catalina? I mean, there is a certain resemblance, I guess. I'm a huge fan of the lieutenants. When I close my eyes, I can see her radiant smile as if she was standing before me. Yeah! Oh, my, who is there? What did you do, you dolt? You pigs, peeping toms. No, no, listen, we can explain that. You see, a, a man's fancies are... Well, there comes a time in every man's life. What, when you have to pursue your dreams? Oh, um, adventure! 
did anyway. Why would we peep on you? You're a machine. Isn't it? If you need to get something off your chest, I'd be happy to listen. Bottling those feelings up is no good for you, you know. The truth is. Now look what you did. You made her cry. Oh, it just. it just slipped out. There you are. You're the ones who were insulting that sweet young lady, aren't you? The diva? You here on vacation, too? Answer my question, if you please. Are you talking about that brunette robot? I mean, yes, I spoke without thinking, but I feel like she overreacted. What did you say? You don't get to decide how she feels. But, but she's a machine, right, Soris? I mean, yeah, but, but don't drag me into this. Are you saying a robot can't have feelings? I assure you, her pain is very real. Oh, I didn't mean to. I can see the two of you are going to need some sensitivity training. Oh, wait, wait a minute. This idiot let his tongue get away from him, sure. But the Ladiva I know and love, she wouldn't resort to violence so suddenly. What's gotten into you? That's enough out of you, mister. You're about to learn your lesson the hard way. what you've done to everyone's vacations. I don't want to do this, but you've left me with no choice. Prepare yourself! Hmm. I don't have a damn clue what's going on. But you best clench your teeth. Cause I'm about to knock some shit back in the air. I just doing? Why would I resort to violence like that out of the blue? Oh my goodness, Soros, are you all right? Hey, you're sounding like your old self again. Don't worry your pretty little head over a few punches. It was my fault anyway. What you said before about robots having hearts had really hit home. And that young lady's pain is real. Whether her heart beats in a chest of flesh or metal, it makes no difference. A man who can't see that is no man at all. Right, brother? Our feelings. You're right. Of course. How?
How could I be so heartless? Oh. Oh. Excuse me. I want to apologize for what I said to you earlier. I'm truly ashamed. No, you were right. I am a machine. I am not beautiful. That's not true. You're very cute and charming. You are beautiful. I am? Your innocence, your sweetness, they speak right to my heart. Metal or flesh, it makes no difference to me. So I have to ask you, will you... Will you... Do me the honor... Oh... Of going out with me? Why, of course I will. Uh, gotta admit, didn't see that coming. <laughs> it's love. I think they'll make an adorable couple. Damn right. And if they're happy, that's all that matters. Now I think it's about time we let these young lovebirds be alone. Shall we, milady? The pursuit of beauty leads men to follow their hearts, sometimes to destinations wild and unknown. Having found himself in such a place, noble Saurus gazes up into the sky with one burning question left unanswered. Does a man define his spirit, or does the spirit define the man? Until the day he solves this riddle, his quest continues on. But I had better not catch you peeping again, Soros. Of course! Cross my heart! That? <laughs> Fairy? What are you doing in Lumassier? Singularity. Your existence is distorting the world. Uh... It's time I brought you to heal. You need to learn the difference between right and wrong. Fairy, what's wrong with you? I don't... Back off, girl in blue. No one said you can move. Fairy? Lyria, get behind me. Those monsters again! They must have affected Fairy's memories, too. Yeah, but she seems a lot more aggressive than the others were. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I guess it's my move, Singularity. Looks like we have to fight if we're gonna get her back to normal.
from your ashes. I shall reclaim our future. Retreat if you wish to live. Thank you, Gran. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Sir Berg's a lot. Did you meet that suspicious dude too? He did this to me then. The man in black. I fell into his trap as well. There's no doubt in my mind. He's the one responsible for the chaos threatening the Sky Realm. Perhaps you should make room for doubt. And the skies will cease to exist as we know them. If he can reweave the threads of fate now, then perhaps when he is free, he will be able to spin a new world from thin air, or reduce this one to nothing. We ain't gonna let that happen. What's it gonna be, Gran? Do we go after that shady dude or head straight to pandemonium? First, we need to do what we came here to do and make sure Rosetta's all right. not reckless enough to challenge us both at once. I'm lucky you were here then, Zoe. No good. I can try to control the blow around Numasier, but the rest of the Skydom is being swallowed up as we speak. The problem needs to be addressed at the source. Is restoring that seal really our only option? Once a seal has been broken, it is not easy to reverse its effect. There are other ways, but each carries its own risks. Then you're going to stand by and let the skies drown? I couldn't do that. But you and I won't get anywhere without help. Hmm. So yet again, those children hold the key. Rosebeam, please send them in the right direction. I must prepare for the next phase. I hate to send them off without me, 
But I suppose I have to let them fly on their own sometimes. Rosetta! We finally found you! Eo! The whole crew's here too. Rosetta, you wouldn't believe what's been going on. Surely you've had quite the time of it. I'm just glad to see you all safe. <laughs> That's our Rosetta. You were already taking steps to fight back before we even figured out what was happening. Yes, so much for my vacation. And despite all that I've done, that power has already swallowed up most of Fanta Grande. Have you seen a man dressed in black? Or sensed a strange presence among the trees? He was releasing those Exia creatures throughout the forest. If he's still here, we have to put a stop to it. That man, Belial, is no longer on this island. Gran, you and the others must go to Pandemonium. I know. But we'll get through it, now that you're back with us. I'm sorry. I can't go with you. But why, Rosetta? If I were to leave my post, the chaos you've been seeing will only spread faster. So, it's up to all of you. Reassure me, Gran. As the Singularity, are you prepared to be the Sky Realm's light in its hour of need? You can't be serious! It's for your own good. But if you can't handle this, you won't be able to save the world. The battles awaiting you will be harsher than you can imagine. So show me that you have what it takes to overcome them. Rosetta's well, right, Gran. If we can't defeat her, we won't be able to fix anything. Looks like we got no choice but to set her mind at ease then. We'll show her just how ready we are. All right. Rosetta, here I come.
You've all grown so much. You're prepared. I'm sure of it now. Leave the rest to us, Rosetta. We won't let this go any further. The girl in blue, the red dragon, and the singularity. You three are the keys to ending this chaos. But those who wish to see it through will no doubt come for you. With everyone standing by us, there's no way we'll lose. We know you're here fighting for us too, Rosetta. <laughs> It's time for you to set out for Pandemonium. The final battle awaits. Pandemonium. I heard a great power is sealed within its walls. Do you know who or what it is? Indeed. An astral by the name of Beelzebub. Beelzebub. But why does a single astral have this much power? That I don't know. All I know for certain is that he's no ordinary astral. He's something unique. Belial is clearly hoping that Beelzebub's return will bring about the end of the world. Who is the puppet master and who is the puppet? We could trap spiders in this web. You said it. Beelzebub is the one whose power is warping the very nature of reality. But Belial's machinations may be an even greater threat. Why sweat the details? If you ask me, they both need a timeout of epic proportions. We can't waste any more time. Next stop, Pandemonium. I'm counting on you. I'll hold out here as long as I can. Pandemonium, huh? Should be able to make the trip in under half a day. Time is not on our side. Full speed ahead, Rackham. Where do those jerks get off trying to wreck our world? They're going down! We'll stop them, no matter what. I don't know why, but I can't shake this awful feeling like there are all sorts of bad things just around the corner. See that? That blue-haired girl is a hell of a find. She has the power to manipulate primal beasts. That's a stroke of luck for us. The primal beast with the roses is already bound to this island. A worthless mark at this point. Let's follow the girl instead. Sounds smart. Let's get moving. Mm, big fella, isn't he? And he's all mine. So paws off, Basaraga. Loose lips, Zeta. Vasaraga? Hey, you've heard of me. Guess I've made quite the name for myself. <sighs> Looks like Red's had her brain scrambled too. Red, excuse me. Where do you get off giving nicknames to people you just met, you overgrown gecko? I'm not sure what we should do here. Nah, Vasaraga. I can see you itching to get your hands dirty. Zeta, that dragon is about to sink this ship. This is a two-person job. Are you kidding me? That's my bounty. Play with the crew if you're bored. You can't handle that dragon alone. I'm not even certain the two of us can. If we waste time fighting these people, we'll all wind up at the bottom of the sky. They want to get the dragon under control, too. It makes more sense to join forces. Is that helmet on too tight? I said I've got this. Fine. Have it your way. Didn't think you were 
this unreasonable. I'll handle this. Oh! It falls to me to observe whether you can overcome the false wyvern reverie you now face. I will restrain Bahamut while you return those two to their senses. Thanks. Sounds like a plan. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> She's made things easier for us. We can take care of these skyfarers first. Uh, I guess so. Fine then. Let's get to it.
Zeta. What have we been doing? Are you two all right? Lyria? Oh, uh, wait. Did we just fight all of you? We can get you up to speed later. Right now, we've got bigger problems. It seems slowing him down is the most I can hope to do in my present state. Only the singularity could hope to stop him when he's imbued with Beelzebub's chaotic power. Singularity. No. Gran, are you ready? We are. We'll take it from here. Very well. Let the Elzebub see the flash of your blade all the way from Pandemonium. This is Bahamut we're talking about. It's going to take every one of us working together. Yep, roll up your sleeves, kids. Gotta get this primal down for his nap. With this many of us, there's no way we'll lose. Don't forget to count us, too. All right, let's do this, Graham. I need you all with me. Now more than ever. We can't afford to fail. Right! the dragon's voice. Is that the final trigger? Yes. That was the trumpet sounding the world's return to the nothing it set out from. The wheels may be missing a spoke or two, but the caravan will reach its destination nonetheless. I've swallowed up the remnants of the omnipotent's power and folded it into my own. What are you gonna do about the singularity? Not even Bahamut stopped it. That's gotta worry you a little. With chaos matter and reversals at my command, once I can move freely through the world, the singularity will pose no threat. I will take my rightful place as the true singularity of this world. I see. 
So can I put you down for imminent arrival? Yes. Okay, then I may as well play with them a little in the meantime. Beelzebub is on his way to becoming a new singularity. His mere existence has a destructive influence. If he is fully restored, he will accelerate the corruption of causality, and the whole world could be overwritten. At this point, there is no way to prevent that restoration. Our best option is to defeat him as soon as possible, and eliminate him entirely. But where did this crazy, powerful dude come from in the first place? I'm not sure of the particulars, but he is an astral whose destiny has taken a strangely twisted path. And I can sense traces of power in him from the depths of the sky, from the other world. I think it may be fair to say that he should not exist in this world. He shouldn't exist in this world? Gran, you and those who fight by your side are the only ones who can stop him. From here on out, you cannot afford to hesitate. This is what the world has chosen. Ugh. I have done all I can as Keeper of the Balance. Go. You need to reach Pandemonium. And soon, two singularities coexisting. The Spear of Fate pierces both past and future. Poised to redefine the world itself. I will be watching. Uh, so... What was Miss Flippy Hair talking about? <sighs> Let's just focus on getting to Pandemonium. Hey. Thanks, by the way. I can't believe we got our heads messed with like that. That primal beast said you and those who stand beside you have the power to stop Beelzebub, or whatever his name is. So we're with you. If we're the only ones who can stop him, then so be it. We'd be grateful to have your support. Let's finish this together. Next stop, the final showdown! Beelzebub won't know what hit him. Yeah! I know we can do it! been waiting, Singularity. <gasps> so, you finally came. I did my best to get you excited for this. Would you say... <sighs> had enough foreplay? I'm eager for the night to really begin. You deviant! What are you thinking? You know what Beelzebub's return means for the skies! Is this really what you want? Chaos on every island? The corruption and destruction of this entire world? Yeah! We won't let you get away with it! No, no. You've got me all wrong. This wasn't how I wanted things to go at all. The grand finale I... No, we wanted was much cleaner. But no use fretting over spilled chaos. I can still make something beautiful out of this. You arrogant little... We whooped you once! You think we can't do it again? Be careful, everyone. Ran, something feels off about this. Yeah, something definitely stinks. You can never tell what this weirdo will do next. Not that. It's not him. I'm sensing something else. What is it? Don't leave me in the dark. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, bubs. Sleep well? You look a little... overexcited. Did you just... stick me with chaos matter? I pierced your core. Even you won't come back from that. Return to nothing, and give my regards to Lucilius. Oh, bubs, how could you? And after I tried so hard to... Hey! Just what the heck is going on? Uh... Is pandemonium falling? Well, shoot. Let's not go down with it. Everybody back to the Grand Cipher. But what about those guys? 
I don't think Avatar is about to let us go peacefully. I will topple pandemonium to the crimson horizon. The shockwaves will destroy the boundary between dimensions and obliterate both worlds. You brought chaos to the Skydom by manipulating people's memories. Then you drove primal beasts to madness. Why are you causing all this suffering? I know you've noticed the corruption of causality spreading from pandemonium. Warping causality loosens the threads that stitch memories together. Soon, I will dismantle not only that, but matter itself, and the very rules which govern it. And then, I will rebuild it all in the new world. I will be the font of all order. All creation will flow as directed by its undisputed sovereign. The thunder of pandemonium's fall will herald the dawn of my reign. So, knocking pandemonium down to the crimson horizon will reset the whole world? Can't really wrap my head around all the mumbo jumbo he was spouting. He sure looks like he believes it. It can't possibly be true. Bubs' grand finale might sound similar to what the series envisioned, but it's fundamentally different. Be that as it may, they both start from the same place. If you open that door, which will you find on the other side? Which grand finale will you step into, Singularity? Or can you find a third option? You bet I can! I won't let anyone end the world! We'll never give up, not even if the apocalypse is breathing down our necks. The world doesn't belong to any one person. It belongs to everyone who lives in these skies. There are countless lives at stake. You don't get to decide what to do with them, just so you can recreate the world as your plaything. Not while there's still breath in my body. Red Dragon. The chains of causality have brought you all here to Pandemonium Summit on this day, at this hour, at this very moment. All things will coalesce, and I, in turn, will subsume their totality. We stand a mere breath away from inevitability. You are helpless to stop this fusion. You will be the first to feel Oblivion's embrace.
close. This is... Port Breeze, isn't it? It certainly looks like it. The wind, the scent of the grass... What's going on? The last thing I remember, Pandemonium was crumbling and taking us with it. <sighs> right. We were on top of Pandemonium, and it was falling to the Crimson Horizon. So what the hell happened after that? If Pandemonium had actually fallen, the world would have been reset, right? But it looks like this island and the town are all right. Does that mean Pandemonium didn't fall? Maybe we can get some more information from the townspeople. Come one, come all! Got a new shipment of fabrics, softer and more lustrous than any silk you've ever seen! Everything seems peaceful. Almost like none of that ever happened. Couldn't have been a dream, could it? <laughs> Don't be silly. Well, if it isn't Gran and the Grand Cypher crew. Sierra. I'm glad to see you looking well. Things seem to have settled down all over the Skydom, too. I assume we have you to thank for that. The islands are all back to normal? Does that mean the power changing the skies is gone? Because we prevented Beelzebub's revival? Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh! Before I forget! About the food and water for the Grand Cypher. The Grand Cypher is here? In Port Breeze? Don't you remember? You dug just up the road. She was still moored there when I passed by earlier. Oh uh, yeah, of course. No, wait, what? what? The Grand Cypher was moored to Pandemonium. Yes, this doesn't add up. I'm worried about Rosetta and Eugen. If the Grand Cypher is really here, then can we go check on them? Hey, good to see you in one piece. Guess you handled whoever started this mess, huh? We haven't had any visits from weird machines or angry goddesses lately, so that's a relief. Although now, something else fishy is going on. Seems like a lot of people's accounts of what happened recently don't line up with each other. Their memories don't match. It's kind of a mess. Got any idea what might have caused it? It appears that you prevented Beelzebub's return. I knew you could do it. It might be a bit too early to celebrate, though. I have a feeling this isn't over just yet. Strange things have been happening here, too. Changes in the shape and nature of this forest. It's as if two once diverging forests have converged. Their ever-growing roots and branches now entangled like never before. So our misgivings weren't misplaced. The unnatural incidents all over the Skydom have stopped. But things aren't back to normal like Eugen and Rosetta said. People's memories not lining up, and the forest being all mixed and matched. It doesn't seem like anything too awful right now, but... Satisfied with this? Do we put a bow on it anyway? <gasps> this flippy hair! Splendid work defeating Beelzebub. Unfortunately, the world still finds itself in a complicated state of affairs. What do you mean? You could say that the world has whiplash from the recoil that occurred when Beelzebub's power receded and the laws of causality returned to normal. The balance may be stable for the moment. 
there are faint tears in the fabric of causality in time. Those discrepancies are almost certain to invite further chaos. Sooner or later. Is that why people's memories are clashing? And the forests have changed? Then just what happened to us? How did we get to Fort Breeze? My memories of that final moment at Pandemonium are also unclear. When I regained my senses, I was lying on a nameless, deserted island. I'm sorry. If Beelzebub's influence over the skies is gone, that should mean he's powerless, so we don't have to worry about the Sky Realm being reset anymore. Still, I feel like we're overlooking something incredibly important. What would you call this? Reincarnation? A time leap? No. Neither of those quite fits. Shame those fake wings couldn't get you where you wanted to go, Bubs. You could have just been satisfied with Celius's dark legacy. But no. You had to turn yourself into that monstrosity. Create those wings that rent whatever they touched. What did you need wings for, anyway? Lousy timing for this place to snap back to normal. Not to mention Bubs went and vanished without a word. I can't help feeling a little used. I don't even want to know what he'll do to me if he comes back. But maybe in this new world, I'll have a little more luck searching for Celius. I guess Versus is mine to play with now. Well, bye. You won't back down either. <sighs> Good. You really are another version of me. Yeah. And you're me, all right. Even if you look a little different. Are you going to go through with this? You should be friends. I couldn't bear it if either one of you was taken away from me. I know. But Zoe's right. Ran and I never should have met. Knowing who Zoe is, well, she must know best in these situations. <laughs> but I gotta admit, it's a lot easier to talk the talk than walk the walk. It shouldn't be like this. It's okay, Lyria. Whatever happens was meant to be. Exactly. Besides, now that we've met, whoever comes out on top will press on for the both of us. And I can say that because I know that's what I would do. It's gotta be this way. It seems you are prepared. Know that I will not spare you. My mission is absolute. Confront me with every fiber of your being. Test your resolve, so that this world may know its singularity. When a threat, threat the, the world balance arises, arises, the, the order shall manifest. Shall manifest. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Haven't you had enough yet? I can't do it. I can't lose either of you. Lyria. I have my memories with Gran, but I have them with Jita, too. They're both real to me. Yeah, who gives a crap about this chaos stuff? They're both my best bud. Even if the whole world falls apart, that ain't changing. Please, Gran and Jita are too important to us. Zoe, we understand your position. That two identical singularities coexisting in the same world presents a threat to that world's balance, but is there really no other way? Must we make such a sacrifice? This whole deal's above my pay grade. The way I see it, you don't fix an engine by throwing out its best parts. If you want us to give up one of the captains, their death had better save at least two, three. Difficult. You can say that again. We've got the most hard-headed crew in the Sky Realm. That's what makes them great. Zoe, sorry, but I think this fight is over. Hmm. We're going to face this threat together, side by side. And we won't let our presence cause more chaos. Even if it does, well, we've got just the crew to fight back against it. Very well. Then I shall join your ranks to see this future come to fruition. What? That's great news! Hooray! <laughs> With you on our side, Zoe, we'll be unstoppable! And they lived happily ever after. But no, no, we mustn't hurry this. The climax will be all the sweeter if we edge our way there slowly. Two singularities vying to penetrate a single reality. The finer things in life should be savored. You're going to wear yourselves out at this rate. Save some for me, won't you? <laughs> Almost time for Bubs's wake-up call. Oh, I'm going to absolutely relish this reunion. Catalina, why are you doing this? An impressive display, Gran. But it looks like I have the upper hand. Get up, Gran! You can't quit now! I can't afford to waste any more time here. This next blow will finish you. Wait! Catalina, stop! Silence! This ends here! <laughs> Where did you come from? Lieutenant Catalina, we'll handle her. All of you, fall back. This woman is not to be taken lightly. Nor... Maya? It's all right now. Don't you worry. Nor Maya! Catalina is... She's... Yes, she doesn't seem like herself at all. Just what happened to her? Hey, watch out! Here she comes! Ares, come forth! Aggression. Has that primal lost control? Come on, then. I won't let you hurt Gran and the others.
Problem solved at least. Thanks, Butterfly Girl. Boy, did you ever show up at the right time. Are you alright, Normaya? I'm just fine. But what about you, Graham? Are you hurt anywhere? <laughs> He's a tough cookie. He won't crumble just because you shake the bag. My apologies, Normaya. I'm grateful for your help. You're hungry, Lyria. Want me to fix you a snack? <laughs> that would be nice. Let's head back to the ship. Are you okay? Sierra! Hi, Catalina! You look like your old self again. Hmm. So they lost their leader. Maybe that's why. Why what? What happened? Well... The Imperial troops who invaded Amalthea have begun to withdraw. Sounds like they're all heading toward the Vault's duchy now. Vaults? Yes. And there's been unrest in Auguste, too. But it's a little hard for me to explain. Eo is from Vaults. But Eugen is in Auguste right now. Let's all get back to the Grand Cipher. We can figure out our next move from there. Right. And your big sister's here now. I won't let anything happen to you. Interesting. It's not often that a plot twist can catch me by surprise. I wonder if this is a side effect of that whole warped causality shtick. Well, nothing to do now but sit back and observe. <laughs> to investigate the forest. But he wasn't dumb enough to fight both Zoe and I at once. Then where would he go? Jita, we're dealing with someone incredibly dangerous. I won't answer if you intend to follow him. But he's causing mayhem all over the skies. I can't just leave him to it. <laughs> I should have known you'd say that. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Belial is bound for pandemonium. That's where you must go. That place again? Eh, with you by our side. 
fight, Belial won't stand a chance. I'm sorry. I can't go with you. But why, Rosetta? <laughs> If I were to leave my post, the chaos you've been seeing will only spread faster. So, it's up to all of you. First though, Jita, I need you to prove to me that you're prepared, as the Singularity, to be the Sky Realm's light in its hour of need. <laughs> Good joke! Come on already! The battles awaiting you will be harsher than you can imagine. So show me that you have what it takes to overcome them! Rosetta's right, Jita. If we can't defeat her, we won't be able to fix anything. Looks like we got no choice but to set her mind at ease then. We'll show her just how ready we are. All right, Rosetta, here I come. I, Rose Queen, shall test you. Prove yourself.
You've all grown so much. You're prepared. I'm sure of it now. It's time for you to set out for Pandemonium. The final battle awaits. Thanks for the practice round, I guess. Keep up the good fight now. We'll take care of the ones who started this. We passed Rosetta's trial, set our goodbyes, and set a course for Pandemonium. Belial, Beelzebub, hope you're ready. See, Rose Queen, that you have sent them on their way. Singularity. I wonder what lies in store for you. <clears throat> Singularity. No. Gran, are you ready? What a peculiar vision. The Singularity did not seem herself. Is this yet another effect of the encroaching chaos? The only one who can save the skies now is you, Jida. I simply pray I'm not too late.
handle this. It is my duty to see that you overcome this false trial, this so-called wyvern reverie. I will restrain Bahamut, so you can return your friends to their senses. Thanks. Sounds like a plan. Dimensional fusion? What are you talking about? What does that mean? Can I not defeat you in this dimension either? Destroy the boundary between dimensions. <laughs> it can't be. If that happened, the skies would be doomed. No. No matter what happens, I cannot allow the world to sink into chaos. I will win this fight. I will overcome this twisted reality.
was the world's man. <sighs> Did I do it? Have I stopped the corruption? Or is it simply because Beelzebub's dominion over chaos has weakened? <laughs> Wait, what did I just say? Why do I feel as if I've already seen this outcome? This feeling is altogether warped and clear, like staring at reflections of past memories. But now, the ripples are starting to calm. The picture is becoming whole. Are these visions? Could they really all be from other dimensions? Bahamut, please tell me. Have Beelzebub's ambitions been realized? I see. So I was already caught in the net of warped realities. Another threat! Even greater than Beelzebub and the Serpent! How is that possible? It seems the Sky Realm has yet to face its greatest challenge. But I cannot be the one to fight it. Is everyone all right? We're fine. Thanks, Zoe. We really owe you one. Yeah, thanks to you, Red and Spiky are back to normal, too. of the balance. Go. You need to reach Pandemonium. And soon, two singularities coexist atop the Spear of Fate, which pierces both past and future. Should they raise its cruel point, they risk restructuring the Sky Realm. I will be watching. Right. Onward to Pandemonium, then. I know we can do it. Gran and the others can handle this mission. I must trust in them, even if it means the world itself will be remade. Yes, the skies teeter on the brink of another cataclysm. But the Singularity must be the one to restore balance this time. And yet, I do not wish to stand idle. There must be some way I can help. any weaker that's for sure no worries you've got the world's most adorable super genius alchemist on your side stand back Gran. I've readied the barrier all that's left now is to deploy it don't take him lightly Cagliostro he... did you forget who I am I don't waste my energy on futile efforts now take your leave captain long time no see been enjoying your bit of freedom, have you? The mouthy little moth. I have not forgotten that wretched face. <laughs> you remember little old me? Have I gained a fan? I merely acknowledge your mirth. Shame then that you will soon taste death. Ah, I bet you say that to all of the thousand-year-old alchemists. Well, do your work.
quest clear. It's not over. I'm not through. Wrong, fucko. This is the end of the line for you. You might as well give up already. The barrier's complete by now. I finished it in the middle of our fight. What? How? You worm. You maggot! <laughs> why don't you take a hundred years? Hell, why not a thousand? Figure it out yourself. But don't worry. If that's not enough time for your feeble brain to... Huh? What's this? Shitting me. There were zero flaws in my spell. What in the skies could have happened? Cagliostro! Is everything okay? Sorry. I've been had. That bastard had another trick up his sleeve. But it's evident he's exhausted his reserves. If we're gonna beat him for good, it's now or never. Right. Got it. We'll take over from here. Glad you're that, Captain. Be careful, okay? Hopefully you can solve what I couldn't, Gran. Oof, that was a close call. Glad Bubs pulled out when he did. She almost had him bursting. This alchemy business, maybe I should pay it some more attention. Hmm, then again, she was only able to strip Bubs and his little Exia pets. If I could just drench him in my blood, the bit that was corrupted by chaos matter when he ran me through, then the residual darkness should activate and reset us back to zero. <laughs> just as I planned. But does Bubs even deserve it? After hiding such a delectable toy from me? Maybe after he and the Singularity have utterly destroyed each other. Then I'll have a chance to play with it myself. Ah. Oh. Desire tastes sweeter during the final hour. See, so this is a dimension with no actual substance. Dimensionless, you could say. Damn you, serpent. Managed to steal it right out from under me. Having your core run through wasn't enough for you, eh? Are you planning to replace it with verses? Avaricious little worm. You won't get another chance. When next I find you, I'll send you to hell before you have time to regret the error of your ways. No matter. Dimensional fusion was achieved. All that remains is for me to return from this dimensionless plane to the unified world and ascend the throne. So this place has roaches too. You enter this empty dimension to punish me. Don't make me laugh. Perhaps the fact that you're here means there's a way back for me as well. <laughs> Let's see if you can amuse me. Ha 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 ha!
worry about that. I'll rebuild your precious Sky Realm as I see fit. <laughs> Rain. Shall we take this chat into a nearby cafe? Ah, actually, we were just in one, discussing how to find you. But now that you've appeared, would you care to tell us what happened in Pandemonium? And what you've done to our realm? Hmm, haven't got a clue what you're talking about. But I'm getting all wet. And I do love a piping hot cup of joe. So why don't we... Are you gonna spend all day dodging our questions? We may not have Imperial authority like those soldiers back there, but we'll still take you into custody if we need to. Tie me up. For what crime? Fancy yourselves part of the Enforcers now. He's got no weaknesses. Never seen anything like it. Regular primals have nothing on him. It won't do if we both fall now. Escape, and summon the rest of the Eternals. I'll keep him preoccupied for as long as I can. Gotcha. I'll leave you to it, then. You know uh... I can hear you, right? You're planning to gather all ten of your friends and gang up on you. And while I wouldn't normally mind ten of you all, your plan does sound a little cowardly. Especially for a crew talent to tear up the staff. Think of it as insurance. Victory is crucial when the stakes are this high. But first, you shall face the strongest spearmen these skies have ever seen. And I don't intend to die here. Huh. Have it your way. Oh, Eternals. If you can blow one away, you can blow them all away, right? Behold my spear! Oh, 
I'd hate to be underestimated. You aren't close yet. Neither am I. Stalemates are such a turn-off. Not to mention, this downpour is awful. Any other day and I'd have worked harder for the title Conqueror of the Eternals. But I'll take a rain check for now. I'm afraid you're not going anywhere. Damn, you're persistent. If I come clean about pandemonium, will you let me leave in peace? That depends on what you have to say. I was fully prepared to skewer him if he attempted to deceive me, but I don't detect even a hint of a lie. So, this is a new world? Quite hard to wrap my head around that, I admit. This wretch must still be hiding something. I can't permit him to escape. Wow, you really just stood there and listened to me? Feels nice to be trusted, but you just made a big mistake. Speak plainly. While we were sharing a romp down memory lane, you lost focus of your surroundings. Where are the singularities? Sure, they saved the world once, but will they get lucky again? With how warped these dimensions become, who's to say if even the Eternals are safe? And perhaps the seeds for greater terror have already been planted. Right behind you. Always one step ahead. I'm still unsure if I should trust that serpent's tongue. But pandemonium and the crimson horizon. That was no more than the collision of two fronts before the storm. The tempest itself is still brewing. And I suspect there isn't a soul in these skies that can predict just how deadly its winds will be. think this is all a dream well I'm happy it's reality just think about it double the captains means double the fun <sighs> I am sorry to spoil your enjoyment but things cannot stay as they are yes we understand we have to restore peace to the skies and the key to that is Beelzebub's defeat you just leave that to old Yule here it'll be a cinch to spank him silly are also on the case. So, with any luck, something will turn up. Oh, no! Don't apologize. You've been very kind. Lending us a hand even with another duel coming up. I appreciate that, Societ. And, just to let you know, the duel's being called off, probably. So, I guess you caught me at a good time after all. Called off? What for? The girl I'm up against had an accident, poor thing. She's not badly hurt, but... I can't have her picking up more injuries. Oh, I hope she feels better soon. Um, what about the fans? Oh, they've been looking forward to this, haven't they? Well, then let's give them a show. Introducing a new contender. Give it up for Firefox Duo. I owe you one anyhow. You do that for us? Oh, thank you. The fans will adore you. I can feel it. Let's make this an unforgettable show. How do we do that? 
You guessed it! Long! Now, may I have this dance? I guess I see why blood sport's been popular for millennia. Still, it could use more spice. And I've got the perfect showstopper. No. It's him. How did he get so close? Lativa, you will! <laughs> nice dodge! You duelists are fierce! Oh, please! You've been dancing rings around me. But that ends now. That's <laughs> it. Nothing gets past you, does it? I could say the same about you. Thanks for the assist. Now, where's the chump that summoned those beasts? Oh, I gotta... Let it go for now. No one's hurt, and what's more, the fans thought it was part of the show. There's no need to do anything rash. It was just for a second, but I sensed his power in the Exia. But why reveal himself now? Was this some kind of warning? Well, when did you realize? Did you enjoy leading me on? It was obvious. I had only to study the behavior of the Tetra Elements. My suspicions were confirmed when you linked the barrier of pandemonium with the other world. Or should I say, this dimension. But it matters not. For soon, the merging of all dimensions will be complete. My plans will come to fruition, and everything else is but a trivial concern, including the plain I inhabit. Oh, Bubs, all these dark plans. I can only handle so much. But you know, this newfangled world of yours reset itself in some funny ways. <laughs> like the singularity developing a female counterpart. So long as the singularity continues to exist, it does not matter what form it takes. And here I thought you were committed to total annihilation. But it seems you've got a chivalrous side. This world is full of wonders. Anyway, it's just as you said. The dimensions are merging. And two different planes of reality are soon to become one. Of course. And I shall claim the resultant world as its rightful ruler. <laughs> I'm afraid you won't. How to put it? The world doesn't revolve around you. Speak. <laughs> Wait, 
I thought you were the smart one now. The world spins upon the axis of the singularity, not you. It's those intrepid skyfarers, the centers of their respective universes. And I agree, their differing forms do mean very little in the grand scheme of things. Such slight differences are a matter of observation after all. It's their shared nature as the singularity that lends them significance. So you see, it's always going to be their dimension, even if you are the one who fabricated it. It stings to understand, doesn't it? You can play at being a third singularity all you want, but you're just a simple catalyst. <sighs> Not that any of this amounts to much more than poor play. After all, you're my lovely little pop. Arranged to break Silius free from his prison. How predictable. You still obsess over Lucilius. Let me offer my thanks to you once more, Bubs. You've been a great help. I don't know how Silius and I could have done it without you. <laughs> Slow down, Bubs. You're getting rough. <sighs> Damn it, you silliest. To be buried between planes of reality and to mock me still. Jealous? <laughs> I don't blame you. One look at Silius is enough to make you explode. I love it. I will not suffer these games. Did he summon you from his rift? Of course not. That's a little far, even for him. The verses, on the other hand, well, you've seen only the very basics of its power. But some people don't have the range, I guess. All I did was use it to twist your perception. And look how effective that was. <sighs> You'll never find me, no matter how many worlds you collapse. You worm! 
I have been played for a fool. That accursed Lucilius and his pet viper. Despite their manipulation, I will have my world. Beelzebub! We knew you'd be here! The Skyfarers. Beelzebub, we'll end things for real now. You're not going to plunge the world into chaos any longer. These larvae are pawns of Belial and Lucilius. The same as I. To be used for such plans, we are nothing more than flies buzzing above dung. You will pay for this. You will pay dearly for this, Lucilius. When I finally sit upon my throne, I will tear you and your jester limb from limb. Uh, hello? We're about to clobber you, you know. I can't believe I must suffer such a dignity. But I require tools myself, lest I never reach Lucilius. Uh, what? Ready your blades. I must test your power. Huh? Maybe you don't get it. We? Hush, boy. I need only that you show me the value of your fragile lives. And whether or not you have the metal, the strength. Required to break the bounds of causality. Miserable lives after all. You will be the foundation that topples Lucilius. <laughs> I could learn a thing or two from you, Bubs. Such delicious avarice. Belial! We knew you would come back to save your accomplice. Do not pair me with this wretch. He has defied even me with his cunning. He follows that pernicious fiend, Lucilius. They have been controlling everything from the start. Lucilius? I knew I had an awful feeling when Belial showed up again. We worked so hard with the Primarchs to seal Lucilius away. But I guess we're not done with him yet. Wait, Jita. Primarchs? No, I think... I should know what Primarchs are. Why does that sound so familiar? 
Whenever I try to remember, it's like my memory goes fuzzy. Gran? Your inability to recall is proof of Lucilius and his serpents meddling. And so is the reality of this new realm. The fact that Lucilius has removed his greatest foes, the Primarchs. A world without Primarchs? Well, Jita, the feeling in all of our guts, the severe unease that this world has drifted course, it could be due to the absence of the Primarchs. Infinitesimal sky dwellers could never comprehend the fusion of dimensions. That's why the Primarchs once emerged, to combat the chaos that you lesser beings could not. But there are no Primarchs in this current dimension, and thus the Tetra elements are in disarray. There are few who plainly see the distortions. Those of us who hail from other planes, myself, Belial, and... Me, right? I remember all the Primarchs as if I saw them just yesterday. It all points to Lucilius's perfectionism. He wouldn't permit any flaw, for that would be blasphemous to the Creator. Even from his prison, his indignation interfered with my ability to warp causality, resulting in the creation of this dimension. That doesn't sound good. Do you understand? All that live and die in these skies are but Lucilius's playthings. Whether I become king, whether you brazenly succeed in defying me, it won't change the inevitable. Not even if we stopped the dimensional fusion? When we fought you the first time, was that for nothing? So long as Lucilius remains in his rift, he can ignore dimensional boundaries, much like a god would. A god. He thinks himself above me, and I won't accept that. Let me aid in the singularities. Defeating Lucilius and his servant will stand only to benefit to both. Grand, Jida, I'll respect whatever decision you choose. I fought beside the Primax. I saw how much they gave to protect this world. A world without their existence? That's unthinkable. I... I want to protect these skies. These beautiful blue skies that so many call home. But they don't belong to anyone. Neither you nor Lucilius can lay claim to them. That's why we'll stop Lucilius and Belial from taking over this world. You're the spine after all, Mayfly. Let's be clear. This doesn't mean we'll just hand the skies over to you, Beelzebub. It means our final showdown is on pause. So you'd better get ready for bitter defeat while you still can. <laughs> you took the words from my lips. Let's go, Zeta. There's no difference between the fallen angel and regular primal beasts. Our weapons will be just as effective. Yep, I've got a whole backlog of anger to work with. So, we'll kick his ass till he cries for mercy. To protect these skies from chaos. That is my sacred duty, which I will not shirk. It sounds like an evildoer needs punishing. Don't mind if I do! Our foes deserve utter defeat. And that is exactly what we shall give them. Crazy, bro. The whole world's gone bonkers. Well, I guess it's time your boys stepped up to the plate. Oh, I've missed his smug red face. I bet it'll look even better once I beat a fucking boy. Take over a dimension on my watch, will ya? I'll punch all your teeth in! I applaud your ability to craft such cunning strategies, but it's time to put them to an end. The final act is upon us. We have only to defeat that foul miscreant. The Sword of Righteousness stands ready to meet out justice! I'm bubbling it to stamp death, sucker! I've been chomping at the bit! It's here, isn't it? The final battle. We'll put everything into this match. Looking back now, 
makes perfect sense that all the mysterious incidents were the work of Belial. It's all right, Captain. Your big sister is here to protect you. Care if we stretch this out? I've been looking for a durable specimen. It's sickening to me to align myself with these cradles. But I shall lift my head above the luck. For there is no greater pleasure than to foil Lucilius's plans. We'll stop you here and now, before you hurt our dimensions anymore. We'll protect our worlds! <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at all these handsome participants. Let's throw an orgiastic feast.
<laughs> Is it too late to use my sink? As expected, you cannot hold your own against our combined efforts. Now hand over the verses. No, I'm not one to let go of a toy that feels this good. Then I'll take your life instead, even if it makes for a poor substitute. What's that in the sky? A vortex? That doesn't look good. Everyone, back to the ship. Get ready to escape. Ren, wait. What about Belial and Beelzebub? Don't worry. We'll put an end to this. No, that's reckless. We'll put an end to this and come back to you alive. So please, Catalina, get everyone to the Grand Cipher, now! <sighs> Understood. Don't you dare get carried away. If you wish to retreat, then I won't stop you. But by my very pride, I will bring Belial down, despite his little Eddie. Oh, hey now. It's not little. That's the future you're staring directly into, big guy. Evolution is born from chaos. And only the chaos of an apocalypse can break a god free from his cradle. Ah, can you hear him? It's about time for Lucilius' awakening. <gasps> Gran, can you hear their voices? No, nothing. What is Belial saying? Woke you up too early, did I? But I was bulging with excitement. Okay, okay, I get it. <sighs> yes, that is my job. All right, I'll come pick you up. I know my life is on the line if I make you wait a second longer. Halt, serpent! He's gone. Have we seen the last of him? He has ripped open a path to the rift that holds his master. A void of pure chaos. But with his injuries and the loss of the verses, it will not be easy for him to return. Then we're good. Of course not. There's a chance that Lucilius has truly awakened. And perhaps worse, this place has become linked to the rift that holds him. Oh. Let's hope that's not the case. Judging by the serpent's murmuring, one can assume he was in communication with his master. Whatever the truth may be, should Lucilius truly awaken, I need only to bury him once more. He deserves a thousand deaths for the crime of toying with me. These guys, they're back to normal. Wait, but... I'm still here. Does that mean our mixed-up dimensions didn't go back to normal? Dimensional fusion is irreversible. Think of a river which runs to the sea. They become the same water. Of course, one who possesses the power to warp causality stands before you. <clears throat> so in order to return the world to its original state, we have to take you down once and for all. <laughs> Even if I resent myself for allowing this, retire from here, Mayflies. Huh? Causality, singularity, and duplicity have all butted heads this day. This dimension is no longer stable. Then that vortex that appeared in the sky? Correct. If we brazenly fling our powers at one another, this fused realm will be swallowed whole by the dimensional rift. <sighs> I shall remain here. I will not lose the world that I deserve. We don't have many options, do we? I know we can't fight you now. But remember this. If you ever show your face again, we'll be there to take you down. <laughs> Buzz while you can, Mayfly. The fighting's over. But I can't shake the feeling we're not finished yet. Yeah. Beelzebub won't stop unless we kick his butt. 
and Belial and Lucilius are even worse. <sighs> Let's just head home. Everyone's waiting for us back on the Grand Cipher. Good call. All right, let's get out of here. We'll brief everyone when we get back. Think so. Wait, the Eustace? Seems I have to work on my stealth. Zeta and Vasaraga warned me about an intruder. But I never thought it'd be you, Eustace. You know me, Singularity? Singularity? Oh no. Not you too! When you're dead, the skies will have peace again. Gran! Did you catch the... Oh. The Singularity. Vegeta, but how? Two captains? This shouldn't be possible. I've never seen either of them before. So why? Why can't I pull the trigger? Sorry, Eustace. I might have messed up. Oh, great. So Eustace is brainwashed too, huh? Well, not like I didn't see this coming. Follow me, Eustace. I'll make you remember. Even if I have to carve the truth into you. Wait, no, Masarada! What are you thinking? Right then. May the best truth win.
It's over. Eustace, no! Please, Eustace, you have to remember! We're your friends! We shouldn't be fighting! I think! B! You get your memories back? Look us in the eye, Eustace. Gran. Cheetah. I don't know why, but I can't hurt them. I yield. same in your position. We did do the same. Exia got to us too. Made us forget all about the crew. But man, this is crazy. There are two whole captains! <laughs> well, looks like the Eustace and Beatrix we know are back. <sighs> Thank goodness. Cause, um, to tell the truth, we could use some extra help. Oh, but what about our mission? Elsa to Eustace, what's your status? <sighs> Report. The mission failed. <sighs> Understood. We move on to plan B. Get out of there now. The anomaly we were searching for. It was us. We're working with the captains now. What? Don't tell me you're defecting. There are consequences even for- Thank you, Eustace. I'm sure it wasn't an easy choice. Ah, uh, we'll have to patch things up with Sergeant Ilsa eventually. I like it a lot better when she's on our side. Yeah. I'm afraid not. There's nothing wrong with my mind. But there's something very wrong with your continued existence. What? Forgive me. I wish it didn't have to be this way. Good to see you're both safe. Just in the nick of time. Wait, there are two of you? Seox, is it really you? Is your memory okay? You've got the gist. Now stand back. I'll make you answer this time. Who are you? I am a being born from the warping of causality, who has surpassed as others found in parallel dimensions. I am the Seox of this new world. And as an eternal of these skies, it's my duty to root out any who may disturb them. Even if that disturbance happens to be my captain. New world or not, it doesn't seem like Belial's pulling his strings. Agreed. No version of Seox would allow himself to be controlled. So, Vaughn, let's leave this to our true friend. You and I will assist Gran and Jita. Roger that. Our captains are in good hands. The sooner I can terminate the singularities, the sooner this world will find peace. I'll deal with you later. You need to tell me, even with our memories of the captains, You'll still kill them? I have to protect the Sky Realm. And in order to do that, the Singularities must die. Protect the Sky Realm? Who are the most important people to us in this Sky Realm? What a farce. I know all too well. But... But they have to die. I must complete my mission. One duty, to cleanse true the sins of my captain. Step forth! I will protect the captain from every foe. 
Guess we're late to the party. Sorry about that. Hmm. I knew sacrifices would have to be made, but I never expected them to take this form. Why do I feel like I've executed myself? Is this punishment for siding with the captains? Have I denied this new world its peace? Yeah. Uh, my mask! <laughs> yep. This proves you're the Seahawks we know and love after all. Whoa. You actually managed to snatch that right off his face. Remind me never to mess with you, Jita. Fran, don't encourage her. Help me get my mask back. I can't stand you two. So, um, I noticed you've had something on your mind since yesterday. It might help if you got it off your chest. It's my shadow. What he said hit a nerve. About Jita and I throwing the world into disaster? Yeah, his words rang true. Even if they were hard to believe. When Eustace went after Gran, he mentioned something similar. I thought that was just a blind accusation because he didn't know us. But now I'm starting to wonder, what if there is some truth in there? It could be the one truth in this universe. But I still wouldn't harm either of you. You're my captains. Nothing will change that. Regret only that you have any doubt at all. Thanks, Seox. Gren, Jita, my shadow was a being born from this new world. It wouldn't be a stretch of the imagination to assume other such beings could begin to make appearances. I know you'll both stay alert, but it would be best to inform the other crew members. You've got a point. Anything could happen from here on out. I'll make sure the rest of the crew stays up to speed. I hope we're overreacting. Not just for our sakes, but for the skies themselves. The encounter with my shadow could be an omen for future anomalies to come. But, no matter the trials we face, I'll always be there. You can count on me, Captains. flash before my eyes. So, this is Versus. A core formed as a byproduct of Bub's breaking free from that alchemist's seal. <clears throat> That's good. That's very good. That poor little seal didn't stand a chance. 
No wonder it burst. And I'm next. Here it comes. Mm. <laughs> now all I need is a chance to slide in between the dimensions. Well, if it isn't the Cosmic Beast. Are you responsible for this? Uh-uh-uh. Don't tell me you plan to save your little friends there. I thought you were supposed to be defending the balance. Answer my question! Don't look at me. The party was already over when I got here. Ren is indispensable to this world. His life cannot be lost here. That's nice. You gonna do something about it? Destroy you, you There is no other course. You really are head over heels for the singularity. What a lucky boy, getting you all hot and bothered. Come on, little beastie, give me a try. Bet I can satisfy you better than you can.
Testing it. Still the after party. Impossible. How did you? The Earth is waiting to embrace you, Peacekeeper. This the merging of worlds Bubs was so hot about. I was on edge for so long. But talk about an anti-climax. Well, he got half of what he was after. As for the other half, shame those fake wings couldn't get you where you wanted to go, Bubs. You could have just been satisfied with Silice's dark legacy. But no, you had to turn yourself into that monstrosity. Create those wings that rent whatever they touched. What did you need wings for anyway, in a world without archangels? Lousy timing for this place to snap back to normal. Not to mention, Bubs went and vanished without a word. I can't help feeling a little used. I don't even want to know what he'll do to me if he comes back. But maybe in this new world, I'll have a little more luck searching for Silius. Ooh, sounds like some of the pawns are back on the board. Buddy, could have sworn I just heard you say Lyria and Vern. How do you know? 
know them exactly. You trying to get fresh with Lyria? Huh? What does that even mean? <laughs> Finally. Time for some singularity on singularity action. Talk about a must-see show. Can't say everything's gone according to plan, but we're still more or less on track. And isn't that the point of foreplay? To tease you until the main event. <laughs> it won't be much longer now. Wait for me. Drama sure was crazy, huh? Well, we put Albion through the ringer, didn't they? To not exaggerate, we suffered no casualties whatsoever. Of more pressing concern are the strange occurrences plaguing the Skydoms. Though it seems we escaped the worst of it. Now, why don't you tell me why you've really come? Yikes. Uh... Well, the crew decided to stop by Albion for a breather and I decided to hitch a ride. Between you and me, seems like we're not completely out of the woods yet. As you might have surmised. Huh? I have not. I thought this was all behind us. <sighs> Must we contend with new irregularities so soon? Sure looks that way. While Anra and I were busy scuffling with the Empire, Seox was fighting his own doppelganger. And I'm not even exaggerating. He was just like the Seox we know. Same memories and everything. Only... This one was from a different dimension, apparently. He spouted some crazed nonsense about Gran and Jito leading the world into chaos and full-on attack them. Of course, the real Seox stepped up and... Eh, you know the rest. Do you believe it possible for more of these doppelgangers to appear? I fear the consequences should they manifest as other close allies of the captains. I'd bet my sword collection on it. Until Seox... The Eternals haven't encountered much in the way of irregularities. But it looks like bigger problems might be on the horizon. To cut to the chase, I came here because I've got a bad feeling in my gut. You never know who's gonna be the next evil clone, right? Could it be? This is what you would want, isn't it? Then I shall entrust your safety to Gran. Just this once. I left Catalina alone. To look after a mere stranger. Under no circumstances would I ever leave my devoted. Does this mean the feelings I possess for her are false? Does this mean that I am false? I would never abandon her. Would I? If I am not the true Vera Lilie, if I am but a doppelganger, as Sofan has described, then I will undoubtedly betray those that I love. I will not allow that to pass. Hey, Vera. What's brought you out to our neck of the woods? It's been such a long time. So much has happened aboard the Grand Cypher while you've been gone. Where is Catalina? She said she had an errand, but she should be back any... Oh, there she is! Ah, oh, Vera, we weren't expecting you. I have to apologize for what happened back in Albion. I wasn't... Your sword. Draw it. Vera? What are you doing? This is like Seox's other self all over again. We shall see. Gran, please stand down. I do not wish to harm you. <gasps> Gran, Lyria, stay back. I'll deal with her. Vera, what's the meaning of this? Why do you threaten me? A deceitful creature stands before you. I am broken. Fit only to be cut down. And yet, there is only one sword I wish to deliver my final moments. <sighs> Catalina, will you grant this pitiful wretch her final act of selfishness? Vera. If this is what you want, 
Then so be it. It will pierce my heart, so that it may never harbor lies again. Oh, Vera. If you truly want to do this, no more lies. Please, Catalina, I beg of you, take my life! to confront you even though I am a fraud such is your kindness that you would perish before striking me down bearing witness to your would-be sacrifice it's too much I shall finish this myself wait Vera do you truly believe you're a doppelganger what evidence do you have that day I chose to prioritize my duty as Lord of Albion over your well-being. The true Vera would never do that. You are my everything. What greater proof do I need? You are the only thing in the world to me. Vera, you've come so far since we met. You didn't sacrifice me. You chose to save your people. That's proof of growth, not betrayal. You suggest that losing myself is growth? If I did not my devotion to you, Catalina, then I am nothing. A void which could only be filled by your blade. I won't do that. I would never do that to you, Vera. And you are the real Vera. I don't want to see you hurting. Whether the damage is caused by my hand or your own. But can you risk letting me live? What if ran and you to safety? If it comes to that, and I'm sure it won't, I'll stop you myself. So please, try to listen to what I'm saying. You've changed, that's true. But that's no reason to assume you're a Vera from another world. You're still the same person, just more mature. Catalina. Besides, the only reason you want to throw your life away is to protect Gran and Jita, right? You give everything you have to safeguard your friends, your city, and those you love. That kindness, that passion. There's no doubt in my mind you are the Vera Lilie that I know. 
You've deceived only yourself. And you have the power to break this illusion. I believe in you. And I always will. <sighs> I... I... <laughs> Thank goodness you're both all right. That was wild. I'm glad you were able to talk her down, Catalina. It was nothing. Are you feeling more like yourself now, Vera? I suppose. I feel as though I shall never make amends for causing you all to suffer. There's no reason to feel guilty. At the end of the day, no one got hurt. Um... Hey, Catalina. Are you feeling up for a few days off? I know your last vacation wasn't that long ago, but... I think you might deserve another. That's a good idea. Your first vacation wasn't so restful, since you were brainwashed and all. <laughs> My constitution isn't that weak, but I'll take you up on the offer. Considering the circumstances, why not grant the whole crew extended shore leave? I have heard about your tireless efforts battling chaos, and I do feel the need to make amends for my foolhardy behavior. You would be special guests of the Lord of Albion, of course. Yay! How about it, Gran? We can spare the time to let everyone in on the fun, right? Why not? Besides, Jita would kill me if she didn't get a chance to see Vera. Let's get this vacation started. forces nearly toppled multiplex worlds. Though life survived, the battle left a scar. We now saw the fragility of existence. This is one iteration of the Sky Realm, a blue expanse abandoned by the gods, where islands float among drifting clouds. The astral Beelzebub sought to conquer this and other dimensions by warping causality, the laws of the universe, melting the whole of existence into a kingdom his own. But the serpent Belial drained Beelzebub of his powers, channeling them towards the resurrection of his creator, Lucilius. When all hope seemed lost, a crew of Skyfarers thwarted both Astral and Serpent. Thus, the skies were saved, and time flowed on. It can't be. Inverting causality takes precedence. Let us head out. I always did like professional types. They're so sharp and forceful. <laughs> no prep either. It's bold of you to go straight in.
Mission complete. Took longer than expected, but we did all right in the end. Gran, Jita, you were amazing out there. Look at you two, keeping trash off city streets. But even heroes have to rest, you know. Catalina's worried about both of you. She says you're going to work yourself sick. I get this goblin hunt was sprung on you out of the blue. But if you'd gone back and grabbed more crewmates, you wouldn't be out so late. You're right. It's just, I've been feeling antsy, you know? It's been so quiet. I keep getting reeled in by every chance at action. Besides, the crew just had their memories patched back together. They deserve the rest, and we need the training. She's right. It might be calm now, but this is just the eye of the storm. Beelzebub's still out there, and we all know he schemes as easily as he breathes. He's not even the biggest of our worries. Remember what we heard about Lucilius? If he awakens, it's lights out for the rest of us. He almost destroyed Jita's world. We can't let him jeopardize ours. <laughs> That's right. That voice! Belial! I can tell you missed me, Singularities. Can almost see tails wagging. Don't worry. I've brought a treat for you, puppies. A certain someone you must be dying to meet. Who? <sighs> Lucilius! That's him? He really did it! He dragged Psycho back from the dead! It's been a while. So let's talk before getting hot and heavy. Watch the stars, be kissed by the breeze, make this time special. We used to be so rough, impatient. But if we knew one another better, it might engender tenderness. Commencing test. Stand aside. <laughs> This'll be a turn on. A private peep show in Vasilius' experiments. Gran, sort up! He's like nothing we've fought before! We'll pull through this, together. Singularity. Know that this time around, your gods won't save you. Shit! For sake. 
understand it now. Disappointed, but not unexpected. Great! Great! Yes. Singularity can cause aberrations, but nothing outside my calculations. Cheetah's pain, and I share Lyria's. The life link serves as an indirect tether between the singularities. An intriguing oversight of causalities, but irrelevant if all three perish, die. Lyria, Cheetah, they need me. Hey, those are my friends. You want them, you're gonna. Paradise lost. <laughs> Pent up much? That release of yours blew up an island. They survived. You sure? Their real estate's gone. And it's a long fall to the pit of the skies. Quite sure. The gods insist upon meddling. Expected, but irksome nonetheless. Leave the singularities for now. We'll return to point zero and relay the groundwork for the grand finale. Perfect. The longer the setup, the sweeter the climax. Heart breeze. It's really gone. Girl in blue, there will be time to grieve. But before we can look at the past, we must tend to the future. Can you feel it? Tiamat's power. She left it here. For us. All right, Wendy. We're ready. Breeze of beginnings, sail us through the night, that we may be baptized in tomorrow's light. Good now? Not yet. I may be a god of war, a disciple of wind, but there is a vital component to Tiamat's power which I lack. That's faith. Faith is like a great oak you nurture. You must water it, care for it little by little, day by day, until it grows big enough to shelter you. Tiamat spent epics among the people of Port Breeze, bolstered by their devotion, even for a primal of my level, without time. Her wind will prove too much for me to control. That's 
That's why we needed primals contracted to islands. Because they live with people. So, what now? Back on Sink and Still, you seemed pretty sure you could do this. You must defeat me, Singularities. Say what? Just as the Feathers conferred power on the island primals, I was invested with control over the four elements. Though I can't replace Tiamat, I can proctor the trial of the Primarchs. If you prevail, Causality will look to the Primarchs to grant you benediction. And when the Angels are found missing, they'll be reinstated. There was always the possibility we'd fail to gather four Primals of power. You didn't think I'd fail to devise a backup plan, did you? But... we can't... Oh, don't look so sad, Singularity. Even if you defeat me, I won't disappear. Would be a poorly thought out trial then, wouldn't it? I must ask that you lay it all on the line. You'll be braving the full might of an angel. Well, crew, what say we get cracking? All right, Grimir. No holds barred. Come, face the war god, the mad cyclone, Grimnir! Mortals, test your hearts against Storm and Spear! Done, Singularities, and you mortals, your might towers even to the threshold of heaven. 
So, uh, the angel's back or what? I'm not hearing any fanfares. Finally, we're gonna meet Sandalfon. <laughs> I'm shaking. It's like reuniting with an old friend. It's weird, but hearing his name makes me want coffee. With extra sugar and milk. Same. I'm not usually a coffee person, but there's something different about his. The aroma is magical. Nothing's happening. Uh, Grimnir? Is there maybe a little tiny itty bitty chance that we might have screwed up? No, that's impossible. The Primarch's powers were unleashed on the skies. I felt them. Then why? It's my fault. Rayan? Grimnir, you probably had an inkling already. I did. I can feel it, because I've been blessed by the Primarchs. Her causality, it's not normal. It, it surpasses even the angels. Now come clean. Just, who are you? Think of me as, uh, the incarnation of chaos. A cage around this world. As long as I'm here, the Supreme Primarch Sandalfon will never be able to return. Then you are working for Beelzebub. No, I'm not. I have my own mission, and he took the one thing I need to fulfill it. That's why I came with you. But now... I'm not so sure I want to see this through. Rayan, what are you talking about? Let's go back to Zinkenstil. There's a place I want you to see. Once we're there, I'll tell you everything. No more lies about me or my purpose. Where did the girls wander off to? Where indeed. I thought they were taking a stroll around the shrine, but the grounds are... My throat. No, my whole body feels like it's on fire. Was I poisoned? So... My mouth is numb. I can't speak. Anra? What's wrong? How'd you like your kebabs? See, we spice those bad boys with Ifrit's horn. A pepper's so hot, it'll wreck more than just your taste buds. Hello, Blow, I know. But even we aren't dumb enough to try fighting an Eternal. It's nothing personal. Save the world stuff, you know? Good news, the tingles will only last three minutes. Bad news, it'll take us one to yeet you off the island. Culinary sabotage. The real bro fam couldn't conceive a plan like that, let alone execute it. These must be. We'll see about that! What? Thought you were being clever, huh? Poisoning a trained assassin with glorified jalapenos? Yo, we forgot Seox's edgy backstory! Red alert! Red alert! Our claws ain't got nothing on his! Too late for regret now. I'll shred you to... What are you doing? I sensed clashes, but they must be more powerful than I anticipated for you to turn on each other like this. Anila, look closer. Those are fakes, and I'm getting rid of them. You most certainly are not. Attacking them won't address the root of the problem. Allow me. The root? Sounds like you know more than we do. What do you know, sheep sis? What? The doppelganger's bloodlust stems from a desire to protect the world. And that desire is a klesha. If we exercise and contain this klesha, the shrine should be able to mitigate the spread of others. Hmm. So in layman's terms, you can prevent more doppelgangers from appearing? Hypothetically speaking, yes. I'll take it from here. But not liking the sound of that. Places, peeps! Hey, 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 hey! We'll see who's talking big after we shave your sheepies bald! Can it, you clowns? Sure, they're cute, and warm, and fluffy, and soft, and... Ugh. 
We gotta focus! But, but they look so snugly. Oh, oh, why can't I think straight? The crushes appear to be prodding their minds with impulses. Stay still, and I promise this won't hurt! Anila, Divine General of the South Southwest, who we'll cleanse your evils!
how tragic. Your desire to protect was so powerful, it spurred you instead to destroy. The Grand, Cheetah, all the friends you cherish, they've been beside you the whole time, defending your home. You know they would have helped you find another way, a better way, if only you had asked. But did you, huh? No. We've been bad boys, haven't we? Yo, hearing that, it feels like a huge load off my shoulders. Same. All at once, I feel so light and chill. What's happening to them? They are not originally of this world, but their dark purpose bound them to it. Now that they've found peace, their spirit should return to where they belong. Please, do not fault them for their mistakes. They were only doing what they believed best. So the doppelgangers genuinely are trying to protect the Sky Realm. Like us. Take care of the captains. Time for us to wahey away! Thank you, Anila, for everything. <sighs> Oopsies. Those peppers packed a punch. We'd have been goners without you. <sighs> That's the closest anyone has come to besting us, eh? It should dissipate soon enough. What's that noise? It seems to be coming from the storehouse. Let's investigate. <sighs> Finally! The doppelgangers split our forces, picking us off without arousing suspicion. Very shrewd. Perhaps we've underestimated the Lewain brothers. So, where are the real bros? Oh, uh, <laughs> that's a good question. We are so, so sorry, fam. The real Lewine. See? His tan is back to normal and everything. Like telling apart soybeans and chickpeas. Those ganger groupies had us tied up and tucked away on Turtletopia. But get this. Get what? There was like this floating light thing, and it talked. Like, like bro to bro brainwaves. It was all like, we're taking the L, dudes. Keep the captain safe and stuff. Then it flashed, and the ropes came loose. I think it was some kind of ganger ghost. Cray cray, huh? Anila, what do you think? Hmm. Sounds like the Klesha we exercised. What happened to it? Disappeared, got all weak and flickery, then poof! Sayonara! The clashes didn't possess them. How odd. Ugh, enough with the chit-chats. I'm dying for a taste of sweet revenge. Ugh. You've been naughty. And you know what happens to naughty boys. Whoa, 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 slow down. Madeira, it's not their fault, okay? And we have no time to waste. We must inform Gran and Jita of the connection between Kleshas and Doppelgangers. Excellent timing. Learn just told me where to regroup at Zinkenstil. No details, but it sounds like Rayan is preventing them from manifesting the Supreme Primarch. <laughs> so she was hiding something. Well, we better hurry before she tries anything else. I'll go too. When the skies are hurting, it's my duty to patch things up. Siegfried! <laughs> Here's a man who knows muscles. Siegfried, it's me! Come back! A knight's honor is like gold. It withstands even the test of dragon fire. Knight honor. I, I, uh, 
Is it working? Are we getting through to him? <laughs> As predicted. Stand aside. It's time I snuffed the life of this blowfly. What? No! I won't let you! He was using us. Testing whether our presence would counteract the dragon's blood. Most clever. Yes, when I allowed the serpent to slip and swear, I lost all reason to remain in this bug-infested swamp. But I have a score to settle. For three days, I had to endure the droning and bombardment of a blowfly. If you lot won't finish him, I will. So you're gonna swoop in when he's down. That's low, even for you. Down? You haven't even restrained him. In this state, he could yet butcher all eight of you fairy flies. I'd suggest you stop whining and give thanks for your salvation. Lancelot, this is our chance. You have a plan then? Even if Beelzebub can now eclipse Siegfried, Dragon's blood does not slow so readily. He will need time, and in that time, we'll cast the binding spell. Yes. Their strength is closely matched. We can ask. <laughs> Use him like he used us. Vane, I need you to evacuate all civilians. It's about to get rough. Gotcha! Who's ready for a citywide picnic? Standing ovation for engrossing me thus long. Never seen a flea circus with so much bravado. How shall I repay you for the entertainment? Ah, I know. A lord's escort. To hell!
spell. Lot. Set off the sigils! Huh? Siegfried! Siegfried, are you unhurt? Lancelot, Percival, you saved me, again. The students truly have become the teacher. You got him back? Siegfried, we missed you! The dragon blood had almost torched away my consciousness. If you hadn't called out to me, I, I would have faded in that dense heat. Suppose I'm still a half-baked warrior, eh? If you are half-baked, and the rest of us are wheat in the field. A person who hides their flaws also hides from their friends. These moments build trust. Yes, you're absolutely right. Sentimentality. How putrid. I've lost even my appetite for bloodletting. <sighs> At least now I'm free to hunt Lucilius and the serpent. Far from your little hive. Don't be too sure about that. I've got a few questions. Girl named rayan has got a radar out for you. Remember her? Luscious black locks, flower stem arms? How'd you even meet, anyway? Needlepoint lessons? She says you've got something of hers. Rayan. Ah, oh, yes, that bitch. So small, she almost slipped my memory. You've got a whole set of problems. But Sticky Fingers ain't one of them. Your evil is more the crow it from the rooftops world domination brand. There's gotta be more to the story. She says I stole from her, does she? This stifling presence belongs to Lucilius. His pet must have uprooted him from the grave. I would rebury him this instant. But I am only a ghost of my former self. I allowed myself to careen toward recklessness. Repeated journeys betwixt the skies and rift have drained my strength. I need time. Time and a place to hide. Lost, perhaps. There is neither game nor shelter in this region of the woods. Um... Hello? I should have completely hidden my presence. There you are! Uh. Oh gosh! How'd you get those injuries? Don't swarm me, Midge! Midge? Mister, we need to get you cleaned and patched up. Who? What is she? Her presence feels... wrong. Like finding a scorpion adrift at sea. But she seems to have neither venom nor bite. I suppose it won't hurt to let her care for my wounds. Do as you wish. 
Then the first thing I wish is to know your name. I am Beelzebub, Lord of the Skies. One day, my black wings shall be your only shelter. All shall revere me and despair. Whoa! You're healing up crazy quick. <laughs> Must be hereditary. The generation of flesh is no matter. If I hadn't used so much energy, I would have been back to grinding bugs beneath my heel within the hour. Well, no dancing for you just yet, Mr. Beelzebub. We have to make sure you're 100% better or it's back to square one. Enough! Why did you seek me out? Surely it wasn't so you could play nurse. You managed to track me, even though I'd stifled my presence, even though you could not see me. Who are you? Speak! Um, okay. Where do I begin? I am looking for something, and I think I found it, but now I don't know if I want it back. I despise Riz. Speak plainly or not at all. Still, I guess I need it to save the skies. <clears throat> The Versus Core is responding. She's dragging it out of me. Give it back. Give it. No! Huh. Well, that's weird. With each step she took, I felt a large yet shapeless threat bearing down upon me. That is why I made my escape. But I see, she's still on the hunt. I have enough to consider without perilous riddles. Perhaps I should erase her before cracking the problem of Lucilius and the Serpent. I may not know who Rayen is, but I've seen the shallow measure of her strength. I could reach out and crush her. Eusis, I see. Understood. It seems this Rayan has asked the crew to reconvey her to Zinkenstone. We're to meet them there. Apparently, she's preventing the Angel's resurrection. What? Why? And how? That's what this meeting is about. Whatever her reasons, the situation is grave. We'd better hurry. Might I come too? I'd like to be of help. You didn't even have to ask, Siegfried. The dragon sickness may consume you again. We should stay together. <laughs> My knights in shining armor. Yeah, even if we can't reawaken the angels, Siegfried's might is downright divine. I shall come along, ready the ship. Wanna run that by me again? Rayan is after me, correct? Let's make her life easy then. Debate this as long as you wish, but you must be as eager to dissect that midge's brain as I am. After all, she is obstructing your sole path to victory. You want to make this call, Lancey? Do we bring a potential party pooper along? Vasaraga, would you please alert the captains of our situation via transceiver? Understood. Upon but a forgery, 
for it shows two mockeries of the being whom did once we cherish. We can't take her with us. Who knows what she might do to the crew? Did you really think we'd accept you after all the horrible things you've done? No! No, you can stop! They wouldn't. They, they never. They did accept me. They welcomed me to their crew. Our crew. Near the Death Evoker. Cute puppet, isn't she? Figured she'd fit right into the destruction and rebirth shebang. Resetting her causality, daubing her over with memories from a different timeline. You're quite the artiste. Why don't you paint me like one of your dolls someday? The Evoker's elaborate. Adequate for testing causality manipulation, but little else. She won't hold off the singularities for long. Okay. That's my cue to go downtown. I can't believe... I defended a murderer. I should have just... let her take the bullet. Which these wretches must perish. Not liking the sound of any of that. Duke's up! Them. You're the only one who understands me. I. I don't need anyone else. Destroy them. Destroy everything! Oh, my God. 
love me for who I am. Quest clear. I this feel like feels I know familiar. change. You deserve a second chance. <sighs> that memory. Was that another me in another world? It felt so real. I saw it too. Maybe it's a vision from the future. Near, right? That's what Graham called you in that flash forward. You're part of the crew. I am? Uh, are you sure? Of course. <sighs> don't... Don't forget me again. Ever. <sighs> Home sweet Zinkin' still. You're back! We got split up and teleported who knows where. Sorry, that was me. I just really, really wanted to talk to them. Wait, I don't see Rayan. She wasn't with you? Everyone outside, now! Playtime over already? Kids nowadays, they're no fun. Let go of Rayan! No can do. Daddy's orders. Better say your farewells now, because you probably won't see her again. Belial! <laughs> Bye, babes. Yep. And we owe them our lives. Thanks, Nier. Oh, well, death did all the work. But <laughs> I'm glad I could help. I doubt the island was so fortunate, though. That light was Lucilius's doing. Probably wiped Zink and Steel off the map. <laughs> no! Zink and Steel... gone? <sighs> I can't believe Ray and... or... Mom, I guess. I can't believe it's her mission to destroy us. We just met, and the world wants to tear us apart. My heart goes out to you, but there's no running from the truth. Rayan's life is not her own. I know because I too was delivered here by a higher will. She's caught up in something greater than any of us. Any of the angels, and any of the Astrals. Yes, yes, she's a vessel for a god. It's got a rather oafish scheme, though, hasn't it? Quash your problems until they go away. 
Why would Lucilius kidnap her, though? Do you think it was to prevent her from acting? Whatever the reason is, one thing is clear. He sees the girl as a threat. We must rescue her. Do we have any ideas where Belial could have taken her? Avast, mateys! Prepare to be boarded! Zero! Wait, you chased us down in that dinky little ship? Yup! Wanted to swing by and let you know that pandemonium's acting up. People around town are worried we're gonna have a repeat of the Warp Zone kerfuffle. <sighs> Thanks for making the trip, Sierra. Pandemonium. Shall we go? Best we strike while the iron's hot. We await your orders, Captains. Head out! At last. Time to settle the score, Lucilius. Welcome to my laboratory. Here, chaos is mine for the shaping. You do realize that. Yours now, perhaps, was mine for the taking. I'll see your head roll. For good. Enough, Beelzebub. You are by far the least interesting of my guests. You... Gran! Gita! You can't fight here! You could, but the outcome is already decided. You are singularities. I am not of these skies. We are alien specimens tipping an unstable dimension. Ergo, our causalities are fixed. A world, as any system, craves equilibrium. Therefore, the gods keep a stopper on the fate of wild cards to prevent us from upsetting the balance by creating unexpected and divergent timelines. Jeta bested Lucilius in another timeline. So causality will also rig our match in her favor. Thus, no divergence will occur. Wait, what? Blow. The gods conjure a miracle to save your life. The world is realigned on its rails. <laughs> ah, yes. Another good example. You, Beelzebub, have lost to me. Therefore, you will always lose to me. In any timeline. I need not waste strength on you now, as I am guaranteed a victory, regardless of my condition at the time of our duel. You're no more than a fly on the wall. Stand aside. I will see you killed later. Lucilius! Damn it! I'm trying to think here! Alright, so if like I can't beat you, what makes you think you can beat Jita and Grant? If I must reiterate, this is my laboratory. Point zero. Here, I have united chaos and providence. Ordinarily, divine providence would counteract the grand finale. In this world, however, causality, the laws of the gods, it's all corrupted. The force Edmonanke exerts no longer pulls us towards stability, but rather drives us toward ruin. To, uh, strip things down. At point zero, we aren't bound by fixed causality. Silius can play us like hearts. It's a sweet spot in space-time. Once we get rid of the kids, a few more death strokes. And, well, there blows the world. Now, nothing stands between me and your death. That's why you stole the girl. To lure us into your trap. <laughs> if you've grasped the procedure, commencing trial run of the Twelve Wings. Brace yourself! Priestess, catch!
Is that... The Versus Core? What's some human kid gonna do with it? No. Get it away from her! Thank you, Beelzebub. I've procrastinated long enough. But the mission can't wait any longer. Not with my babies in danger. Mom! As both a priestess and your mother, I will protect your future. Please, stop! I have to do this. If after Lucilius is gone, I... I turn on you... You know what you have to do. I'm sorry, sweeties. I love you. But... but... Okay. We got your back, Mom. Now and forever. We'll pull through this. As a family. Sometimes. You need to burn a few brambles to blaze a new trail. Divine interference? Here? This wasn't in my calculations. Wasn't it? For all your intellectual posturing, you couldn't outwit the gods. <laughs> the real battle begins now. And there can only be one victor. Thank you, Gran, Cheetah. I'm so glad I got to see you all with a smile. <laughs> Unstable source of chaos confirmed. Commencing destruction. Silius, this is bad. <laughs> Serpent, deemed non-essential to Skyrim. She's little more than a puppet of purgation. Rough hue, puerile. Is this all you have, Beelzebub? <laughs> Lucilius Astral, you are next. The Dragon's Judgment awaits. I hope you understand, Beelzebub, that you too are subject to eradication. Removal of irregularities is highest priority. Resolution of singularities shall follow. Hypocritical. I would argue that a human in possession of divine power is more irregular than I. Moreover, the Angel of Cunning fell from grace millennia ago. If he is unfit for the Sky Realm, why has he been left in it? Divinity does not intervene, except where unavoidable. You and the Serpent now know too much. Lazy. If our overseers can't be bothered, I shall relieve them of their duties. Nameless pawn of the gods, your pitiful existence ends here. I am neither nameless nor a pawn. I inhabit more than a single life form. I am this realm manifest. Should you require a term by which to define me, I am Versusia. I have already given this realm a name. Zero. You define yourself as nothing, and shall be reduced to... Silence! This fight is mine! You can't be serious. If I must reiterate, only the strongest will survive. This Versusia is the dragon of destruction incarnate, a very god. There is no greater opponent. I will conquer that might, make it my own, and then, then I shall be the uncontested ruler of the skies. Beelzebub? Was this his plan all along? 
<laughs> You're next in line, Lucilius. Kiss your wretched serpent goodbye while you can. By all means, fight amongst yourselves. I'll complete my initial task, killing the Singularities. Beelzebub, Astral, you have also brought chaos unto this world. It will be more efficient to remove you before confronting Lucilius. I will prioritize your elimination accordingly. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. I should build my throne on the carcass of a god! You appear excited to do me. This is illogical. Lack of adequate fear may manifest in further unpredictability. Beelzebub, Astral, must be eliminated swiftly. Gran, Jita, I'll hold off Beelzebub. You have to stop Lucilius. Monster? That you? But how? My spirit still tethered to the vessel, but only barely. Soon I'll lose all control, and the true battle to restore the skies will begin. <sighs> Don't waver. Fight to the end. With the two of us together? Anything's possible. Vern, Lyria, please take care of them. We will, Ran. It's a promise. Take off your rose-colored glasses. At the end of the day, there is only one possible outcome. The grand finale. You'd put this world's corrupted fate back on its rails, not knowing or caring where they lead. There is no destination, no happy end. All that awaits is chaos. Life's eternal battlefield. Is that truly what you want? It's not about what you or we want. This world belongs to everyone. We won't let you mess it up. Lucilius, you're going down! <sighs> think. Think. Versusia's gone off somewhere. You can't hope to best me alone. Alone? Nonsense. <gasps> is that who I think it is? You. The crew never fights alone. <laughs> I can't believe I'm the one saying that. Does this mean the angels are back? Booyah! One step closer to making good on our promise with Munster! I've been watching your struggles from above. I know what it took to summon me, so thank you for your efforts and dedication. I won't squander the time your mother bought us. Lucilius, this ends here! <sighs> Thanks, Sandalfon. With you here, the fight's as good as won. Split up and pincer him. I'll act as backup. Gotcha. Come on! On it! Soon. Soon, I will have peace. Singularity. Know that this time around, your gods won't save you. The laws of nature. 
The bells toll. So you've chosen the way of Wasting my time.
does the future hold but disappointment? Quest clear. I'm taking you down. Everything is wrong. Lucilius, you can't excise all the things you resent. All that you don't understand. The world will just move on without you. Preaching to your creator. You weren't even meant to have those wings. Two singularities? And now him? That's a lot to swallow. Still functioning? Then make yourself useful. Not on top of your game today, are you? If you meant to flip causality, wouldn't it have made more sense to smash the Vessel of God before the Singularities? Are you saying I mistook my priorities? I thought you, of all these lower beasts, knew your place. <laughs> Cheetah, you're back! Catalina... The crew... Everyone's safe. You must be Sandalfon. Seeing you here... It means more than words can say. At last! The Angels are back! But then... What happened to... Raiden! Mom! She's still in there! The girl discharged her duties. The angels have descended from on high, and deep in the void, Lucilius, the Serpent, and Vesuzia are locked in combat. How fortunate for you, midges. Despite your blindness, you seem to have bumbled into a happy ending. No! We're not happy! Then who's Bumbly? You're the one who had your stuffing knocked out by Mumster. Still, the pandemonium has returned to normal. Lucilius has been contained. And thanks to your sacrifice, Rayan's sacrifice, the skies were saved. Whew. Tell the truth, I was afraid we wouldn't make it. But here we all are. Oh, well. Except for Rayan. Cheetah. As the current Supreme Primarch, I owe you my deepest gratitude. Your courage saved our skies once again. Each loss bears its own fingerprints. I don't pretend to understand all of your pain, but I can at least empathize with part. What you laid down today, it's formed the base stones for countless other lives. Sky dwellers everywhere. They have a future because of you. Another chance at happiness. Don't you think you deserve to share in it? Another chance at happiness, huh? As both a priestess and your mother, I will protect your future. We'll pull through this as a family. Sometimes you need to burn a few brambles to blaze a new trail. I didn't want to admit it, but... Deep down, I knew Mom couldn't stay. At least, we didn't have to hurt her. At least she saved us, like she wanted to. I wanted more time with her, but... We got to be a family. And that's enough for me. your next move. What obligation have I to tell you? The skies are battle-weary. If you plan to seize this chance and claw your way to a throne, 
It falls to me to stop you. Absurd. The Mayfly wears a few feathers and fancies himself a hawk. Who gave you those feathers, hmm? Who swaddled you in the mantle of the Supreme Primarch? Spare me the braggadocio, or I'll cut that droning head from your neck. I will never forgive you. Never! I can't stand the sight of you. All I want is to bury you deep in oblivion. But, but, <laughs> your hands are bound. Sandalfon? What's he talking about? Beelzebub converted verses into his core and wielded its power. Or perhaps I should say, wields. Though he returned its source to your mother, traces of energy still flicker through him. Enough for him to sense Versusia at all times. What? Beelzebub? Is he telling the truth? And if he is, will you beg for my aid? Will you prostrate yourself at my feet? The girl is likely gone. How far will you humiliate yourself to save a husk? Shut up! Or I'll... I'll knock you into next week! Gloat all you want. I know you have to track down Versusia to retrieve Versus. Beelzebub. Hmm? Remember what I told you? I'm saving both Mom and the Angels. Empty words. Ever heard the saying, he who chases two rabbits catches none? Will you ever hear the saying, take the risk or lose it all? I heard her voice, Beelzebub. I heard my mom after she became Versusia. There's hope, okay? I'm the singularity. I didn't save the world by accepting things are impossible. We can... save Mom, then? You're Gran and Jita, remember? Captains of the best crew ever. You've beat the odds again and again. Why not this time? Beelzebub, we've let you be a self-obsessed pinhead long enough. Now it's your turn to be used. Oh. You're leading us to Versusia. But first, you're gonna be my sandbag. Gran? You don't get how much pain you've caused, do you? Turning tyrant on the skies, mouthing off about my mom and the angels? It's time someone taught you a little respect. <laughs> what a coincidence! I have my own grievances to bear. A midge like you doesn't deserve the title singularity. Wait, the skies are teetering as is. It might not survive a clash between two singularities. Make that three. Step in if things get too rocky, okay? What? No! Stop! Every singularity for herself! Perfect. Two flies, one stone. Thank <laughs> you. 
the table. Ah. Just like you were for me, and all the skies turned their back. Go! 
will you not bend? My power is what supreme! Is Beelzebub, you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Unless you get back the god powers of Versus, you're like a sorcerer without his spells. Threat level, zero. You want to win? Guess you're gonna have to help us search for Versusia. For Mom. Make no mistake. The only being I help is myself. Versusia is stranded in that... space, correct? Stranded? Not at all. She's the Jailer. As soon as Lucilius and the Serpent are dispatched, she'll be back for the Singularities. I think I'll go preside over that Banquet of Death. There is a certain gift I wish to reclaim after all. Once I've regained the peak of power, I will come thundering down on your heads. Until then... Wait! In this world, Beelzebub is the closest thing we have to an incarnation of chaos. That link will lead him right to the threshold of point zero. Before you reunite with your mother, you will have to face Beelzebub. Or Versusia. Either way, it's treacherous winds. But for now, the storm has let up. You should rest, and I'll begin the work of restoring the skies. Thank you, Sandalfon. We've won the battle, but... Not the war. <laughs> That's just the way things go, right? We got swept up in something huge, huh? When Catalina went back to the Empire, none of us saw this coming. Now that I think of it, that was the catalyst for everything. If only I had more foresight, perhaps none of this would have happened. No ifs, Catalina. You did what you thought was right. What matters is we're together now. Oh man, we've been on such a crazy ride. Looking back gives me whiplash. Let's head back to the Grand Cipher. I'm ready for good food and a soft bed. Uh, uh, you said it. Alright, dears. There's more than enough to go around, so no pushing. Today's special, Vadivas Don't You Worry Curry. And no rush eating. We got plenty of seconds. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, no one goes hungry when your boy Vane's in town. Vane, your field trainings really come in handy. I can cook for a party, but an army of mouths is a whole other weight class. We're a team, ma'am. All your original recipes really put some zest in this fest. Swords and shields can save your bones, but only food can heal the heart. A master chef's a master hero in my cookbook. Oh, I could get that embroidered on a pillow. Let's nurse the skies with a sweet dose of love. Speaking of sweet, guess who's here with some sugar? We brought strawberry shortcake. Make sure you measure your cuts so everyone gets a slice. Oh, my grub? When do you all have time to whip up dessert? <laughs> it was a gift from Eustace, Basaraga, and the rest of the society. Because of your tireless efforts, the refugees have begun piecing their lives back together. You have given them food and shelter. More importantly, you have given them hope. 
There are no words with which I can properly thank you. Society stockpiles more than it could ever consume. If there's anything else you need, just say the word. Better in the mouths of the people than rotting in the warehouses. Still, even the society can't sustain the population of two islands indefinitely, right? The Grand Cipher stores only lasted half a day. You have no idea how paranoid the top brass get about sieges. We got stocked warehouses rusting away in every cranny of the skies. Sure, they would appreciate a visit. You know who might not be so appreciatory? Ilsa. Oh, snickerdoodles. We still haven't talked to her. Eustace, Basaraga, could you, uh, skedaddle over to the drill sergeant's office and tell her why you took the stuff, please? It's got your fingerprints on it. You were the one who said you wanted to patch things up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Though the hurly-burly has so far confined itself to Fanta Grande, we must consider the effect it will have on other Skydoms. I foresee changes to trade, diplomatic relations, and national defense. The flood of chaos sunk two islands. It is enough to sweep in a new age of fear. And fear too often douses civil bonds. Lucilius can send islands jiving and diving with a snap of his fingers. We're lucky most of the skies is still intact. That's because he's not here to sink islands one by one. His true purpose is bigger, and far more sinister. First, we must put the minds of the people at ease, else the world destroy itself before Lucilius returns. I agree. I say we return to our homelands and do whatever it takes to weather these turbulent times. Draft policy, move resources, engage citizens. If the kingdoms of Lumiel and Fiendrock join forces, there is no dark we cannot outshine! <laughs> what of my brother's kingdom? I will be glad to play my part, though it only be that of a carrier pigeon. Coo coo! <laughs> oh, listening to you Nightsies gets Cagliostro feeling like a warm, downy pillow inside. None of your artifice, Alchemist. Now, where is Siegfried? <laughs> That's enough for today. Huh. <sighs> Agreed. You champs have been duking it out since sunup! Bet your muscles are howling! Actually, they've been flailing the old haymakers to keep things quiet. It's supposed to cool down Siegfried's dragon blood. Makes my pulse flutter. Watching the two fight at full tilt. Hmm. Guess that's the price you pay for power. Soros. May I ask you a question? In your quest for true strength, you renounced all weaponry. But what makes you so confident in your philosophy? Is the body really where our greatest strength lies? Hmm. You're questioning me in that knowing tone of voice. I suspect you already know the answer. The body is like a temple. You can strengthen the walls and fill the rooms with knowledge and custom. The way sacred halls may echo with scripture and services, but without the heart, faith, fellowship, and a sense of serenity, the whole structure crumbles, as I learned myself not too long ago. But you don't have to worry, Siegfried. You're sporting guns of steel. What's more, you got a heart of gold. And that heart's earned you good friends. If and when that dragon blood riles you into a horn-tossing mood, we'll slap the sense back into you. Hmm. <laughs> well, thank you. I would be nothing without this crew. Don't you get all meek and mushy on me. Stand tall, man. The younger folk look up to you. Woo! All this talk is making me thirsty. Let's have Basaraga break out the fire water today. <laughs> Friends are the wind beneath our wings. So, the doppelgangers are no longer a threat? Shouldn't be. It's fortunate we nipped the ordeal in the bud before any doppel eternal showed up. You don't have to tell me. By the way, where are Lowain and his groupies? Oh, uh, they're... Still in timeout at the Sheep Shrine. <laughs> Just until the skies have calmed down a touch. 
Time out. A quaint way of describing what Matera's done to them. No, please, it, it was all me. I'm terribly sorry to combine them, but we need to make sure the clashes are gone. For their own safety. That wasn't them, though. Just their shadow doubles from another world. But they had contact with the Klesha spirit thing. Uh, look, the bros are just enjoying some R&R, &R, while we handle the apocalypse stuff. You... You must be Seox. Got a problem with that? <laughs> now, now. We're one big happy crew, and crewmates don't smoke each other's barbecue. But he tried to kill Gran, and anyone who hurts Gran doesn't deserve to breathe. Oh dear, what a grievous misunderstanding. <sighs> Seems there's still the doppelganger's aftermath to clean up. Did you think a mask would fool me? That it would stop me? Wait! Stay away from it! I can explain! You're our hero, Grimnir. You brought angels back to the skies. No, Rose Queen. A hero would have saved Rayan. A hero wouldn't have let his friend's mother sacrifice herself. You know who stops at nothing to achieve their goals? Villains. That was her choice. Sweetie, you're underestimating the courage and willpower it takes to make such a leap. Nothing could have stopped her. It was your combined efforts that saved our world. If you had not restored the elements, perhaps a more terrible tragedy would have unfolded. And this story isn't over yet. Gran and Jida heard Rayan's voice. No force can match a mother's love. There's a good chance Rayan's soul still survives. I believe she's still at point zero, fighting for Gran, for Jita, for us all. <sighs> Captain, Cheetah is still listless. I know, but... Strange, isn't it? You share a mother not because you're siblings, but because you're, in a way, the same person. I've come to accept that Gran and Jita are two sides of the same coin, but it's still confusing when I think about it too hard. I even met them the same way. Yeah, man. Now I got memories of swaddling a baby Gran and a baby Jita. Wild. Ah, oh, well. Don't sweat the small stuff, am I right? What about any of this is small? Like I said before, loss is a deeply personal experience. But if anyone can navigate Jita's inner abyss right now, it's you. So go to her. Let her know she isn't alone. Yeah, bud. Plus, it ain't over yet. We still gotta bake up a plan, but we're getting Mumster back by hook or by crook. We got two singularities for crying out loud. Fishing up lost moms, lost islands. Haha, <laughs> what can't we do? You fought Annihilation and won, Captain. Now you have a future to shape as you wish. <laughs> Remember, Jita isn't from this world. Neither am I. It's lonely, being untethered on strange seas. If Gran could just reach out and anchor her, give her a sense of belonging, that would mean the world. <laughs> wow! Who melted you into gooey sap? What? I never... We'll save her, I promise. When you feel lonely, just remember. You have me and Vern, and all our friends on the Grand Cipher. 
We're the anchor to your ship and the apple to your pie. <sighs> I'm sure that Rayan, your mom, has laughter and stories to share with all of us. So please, please, don't give up. We'll find your family again. <laughs> Thanks, Lyria. Where there's friendship, there's hope. Right, Gran? <laughs> Hi, kids. I know things seem bleak, but silver linings, right? I mean, somehow, some way, I got to know. I just wish... I could have stayed with you longer. Joined you on your big, crazy journey. But I've already had my own airship adventure. You kiddos are just gonna have to find your own way. And see for yourselves what's waiting at the end of the skies. And when the two of you harbor safely in Estalusia, I promise we'll be right there waiting for you. So yes, things are bewildering now. But I want to believe that as long as you keep on sailing, keep on hoping, you and your crew will find all you ever wanted. Because your happiness was all I ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs>